The Global Soap Project was created to address two issues. One is global health. Most people don't realize that the leading causes of death for children globally are diarrheal diseases and pneumonia, which claim the lives of more than 2.5 million kids each year. It's about one-third of all child deaths. And studies have shown that simply hand-washing with soap is the most effective way to prevent those deaths. The second issue that we address is waste. A lot of people don't realize that every day, millions of partially used bars of soap are thrown away by hotels here in the United States alone. So the Global Soap Project works at the juxtaposition of both of these issues by taking that used hotel soap, turning it into new soap, and distributing it to kids who are at risk of dying around the world. Our objective is to reduce waste and get new soap and hygiene education to people who lack access to it around the world. And we do this in a way that makes sure that we have an initial health impact that's sustained long term. To do that, we operate a long term program that teaches people how to use soap, why to use soap, and most importantly, why it's worth buying long term. So that after a year, we can exit that community and the impact that we create is sustained long term. To make this happen, we need the support of hotels, volunteers, global health organizations, and most importantly, financial donors. The Global Soap Project is innovative at its core, and we're innovative in a few different ways. Uh, one way is the fact that we're taking trash, used hotel soap, and turning it into a life-saving tool, new soap. A second way that we're innovative is the fact that we're looking at long-term global health impact. So we're not just taking a shipment of soap and dropping it off in community and saying good luck. We're taking that shipment and we're making a long-term commitment to a community and saying here's how to use it, here's why to use it, and here's, and here's why it's worth purchasing locally for the rest of your lives. And then thirdly, we collaborate with partners across the economic spectrum and across different industries, everyone from hotel chains to logistics providers to global health programs to schools and clinics in countries. And together, uh, because of those collaborations, we're able to fulfill our mission more effectively. The mission of the Global Soap Project is incredibly simple, but profoundly effective. We're taking trash from hotels, turning it into brand new soap, and distributing that soap to people in need. It's a win-win. Hotels have a tax incentive to give us their trash, their soap. We are effective in turning that soap into a new tool, and we've proven that that new tool is actually saving lives in countries where people are dying because they don't have access to soap. We measure success in a number of different ways. On the environmental side, we measure how much waste we're diverting from landfills, how many hotels are actively participating, and how engaged each hotel property is in sending us their used soap. On the production side, we want to make sure that the cost to produce a brand new bar of soap for us is actually lower than the cost of soap that someone could buy in a store, so that we're actually more efficient than buying soap new. And on the global health side, we want to make sure that the soap that we're sending is actually having a positive impact. So we want to know how much of a decrease we've seen in illnesses, how much of a decrease we've seen in the death rates, so that we can uh, work with our partners to strengthen our outcomes long term. A lot of people don't realize that the leading causes of death for children globally could be prevented by hand washing. Uh, the CDC, the WHO tell us that hand washing with soap is the most effective way to prevent death from diarrheal diseases and pneumonia, which combined claim more than two and a half million lives of children each year. In addition to that, people don't realize just how much soap waste there is here in the United States. Every day, more than two and a half million bars of soap are just thrown in the landfills from hotels. And then finally, a lot of people don't understand the fact that we don't charge hotels to send us their used soap, and we don't charge the end users to get the new soap from us. And so we absorb 100% of those costs. And so we rely on donors and volunteers and partners, really, at the end of the day, to get the job done. Even though we're only a few years old, we've achieved quite a bit. Today, we're 
collecting used soap from over 1,200 hotels throughout the United States. This year, we've launched recycling programs in Asia and Europe, too, so the model has grown internationally. We've sent new soap as part of global health programs in more than 30 countries around the world, and we've demonstrated that that new soap really does make an impact, reduces incidences of disease, and most importantly, it really does save lives. Interestingly enough, one of the challenges that we face is raising enough money to recycle enough soap to meet the demand. So we have more hotels interested in sending us soap than we can currently process, and we have global health programs that are asking for more soap than we can currently process. Because the hotels aren't paying for soap uh, to send us their used soap, and because the end users aren't paying to buy soap from us, donors help us underwrite 100% of the costs. And so because we're dependent upon those donors, we actually have to push back on hotels that want to participate and actually have to turn down requests for new soap because we can't produce enough to meet the demand on both sides. The easy answer is make more soap and serve more people. Even though we're producing millions of bars of soap each year, we're not coming close to satisfying the demand and the need for soap as part of global health programs. We could actually increase our production several fold and still not come close to meeting that demand. So we need the support of generous donors to help us expand our efforts to not only reduce more waste, but more importantly, produce more soap to serve more people to save more lives. In addition, we'd like to expand our research and evaluation in country to make sure that we understand exactly which intervention methods are most effective at serving the most people uh, with the least amount of money possible so that we can replicate those models in other countries to make sure that the dollars that are generously donated go as far as they possibly can. We'd love to expand our efforts in the microenterprise area, specifically making our soap available for purchase in communities where price or quality are barriers to long-term use. So even though our programming focuses on modifying behaviors and getting people used to buying soap locally, if the cost of soap is too expensive, they're not going to acquire it even after the programming ends. So if you're making 50 cents a day and the local soap costs a dollar, it doesn't matter how much you really want it, you're not going to be able to afford to buy it. So if we could develop a program and launch it in those types of communities where we're selling soap door to door at an affordable price, we'd not only be creating a local economy, supporting local jobs, we'd also be earning a little bit of revenue ourselves and most importantly, extending our mission of long-term soap use.